Hello and welcome to this tutorial about how to calculate density altitude. What I want to do here is using this standard formula that you can find uh, in the internet and in, law, in many calculations used for aviation. And I would like to compare um, the results with the results from uh, the Geronimo Performance Pad, uh, a professional flight computer, uh, and see where we're going. So let's put this away for a second and let's go through the, the necessary steps. First thing is you need to calculate the ISA temperature at the desired altitude. There's the little formula, ISA, um, 15 degrees minus, and what's this? So, easy to understand. Uh, if you look closely, you have seen this formula many times. That means every, when, when we climb every thousand feet, we are losing or uh, temperature drops uh, by about two degrees Celsius. So this formula is a little more precise, uh, 1.98 degrees Celsius per 1,000 feet. So let's do an example for 4,000 feet and 18 degrees Celsius OAT. So first thing you do is you subtract this value from your 15 degrees Celsius and you end up with 8 degrees Celsius. That's the ISA temperature at your desired altitude. Next step, you calculate the difference between the OAT and the ISA temperature straightforward your OAT is 18 degrees I says 88 sorry 18 minus 8 is 10 degrees that's the difference from the ISA and in our case it's 10 degrees warmer than the ISA temperature third and last step now you have to adjust the pressure altitude by 120 feet for every one degree deviation from ISA what does that mean we have 10 degrees difference so 120 feet times 10 is 1200. Just add that to the 4000 feet and you will end up with 5200. So that is our density altitude, 5200. That wasn't too hard, was it? So now let's have a look at a professional flight computer, Geronimo performance pad. In this case, it's the version for the R44. So um, we have set the OAT to 18 degrees and the elevation here to 4000 and uh, make sure that the local altimeter is set to 2992 so we better understand what's going on um, now you see the density altitude is calculated with 5234 so let's go back 5200 5,234. That is quite close. And um, I've checked uh, different professional flight computers. Um, the, the difference is larger if you go higher and higher altitudes, but in the range of 5,000, you will be pretty close with the standard formula. Now, using this flight computer, you can make yourself more familiar with the values and how they change if you change them, if you alter them. So let's say the OAT is warmer, it's rising you see the density altitude is higher. So if we reduce the OAT, density altitude gets lower, represented here by this orange helicopter. Uh, local altimeter, if we change this, suddenly we see three helicopters, what's going on? Um, the blue one represents the 4,000 feet MSL. The yellow one represents the pressure altitude. So if, I, if the local altimeter rises, pressure altitude gets lower. If the local altimeter gets lower, the pressure altitude gets higher. So this is interesting to notice. And the OAT influences only the density altitude. So a pressure altitude is not changing with OAT. If I change the local altimeter, both are changing density altitude and pressure altitude. That is one way um, to make yourself familiar with all this. I find it quite confusing in the beginning, but um, it, it helps a lot if you can experiment with those values. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.